So, I recently just gotten back from Yomacon this year, and, uh, there is something I noticed that kind of has been on my mind for a while, and I feel like sharing it, finally. And that is Tom Wayland. Now, you might be wondering, who's Tom Wayland? Well, he's a voice actor and director, notably one that has worked with four kids, and he is currently d the director of the current dub of Pokemon. In addition to that, he's done, like, plenty of the, uh, horrible stuff that 4Kids has done, including being a huge part in One Piece. So, it's pretty safe to assume he's not exactly a good guy to the anime industry. Now, you might wonder, why would I be ranting about him? He's probably part of a company that's dead. And while it's true that, yes, 4Kids is dead, no matter what a certain fanboy has to say, they are gone and they're no longer a threat, but... This guy still is a threat. And, quite honestly, I keep wondering why Yomakon keeps inviting him back every year, I mean... I get that he's important to Pokemon, but he's not a very nice guy in person either. And let me explain this. This happened this year. While I was waiting in line at the autographs, I, it, they, the way they ran this thing was that they had it be several people at once to, and you have to wait in line. After I got the autographs that I was looking for, I noticed that there was a One Piece cosplayer with, I think it was, like, some One Piece-related flag? And he was getting everyone involved in One Piece to sign it. And I noticed that he went up to Tom Whalen and asked, Hey, were you a part of One Piece? And he said, Yeah! I was full body, and I was... I don't know who else he said, but whoever else Tom was part of. And so the guy was like, Oh, here, why don't you sign it as well? And that's all fine and all, but honestly... I feel that if you were part of the 4Kids dub of One Piece, you should be required to inform the person before you sign their One Piece material that you were not part of the Funimation dub, because I think that if this guy knew that Tom wasn't on the good side of One Piece, he would have never let the guy sign it. I know I wouldn't. But aside from the fact that he's clearly dishonest enough to brag about being part of One Piece without bringing up the fact that he was part of the bad dub. I also object to him because I met him last, a couple of months ago at a con called Midwest Media Expo, which is run by the same people as Yomacon. And I was at this panel and I, where I met him and honestly, he is an asshole. Here's the thing that he actually said. When talking about the English dub of Pokemon, he said, he doesn't care how he treats the show, he'll replace all the music he wants, he'll screw it up, he'll change the dialogue, he's essentially doesn't give two fucks if the quality of the dub is bad, because all he cares about is the fact that the show continues to get good ratings. By the way, if you're one of the people that is part of the Nielsen rating program, stop watching it on TV, just watch it online or watch the fucking fan subs. But in addition to that, he's also kind of a pussy about stuff. Like, he was telling with the Pokemon dub of how he's worried about offending people with his dialogue and that they're very careful with selecting things. In fact, he revealed that, you know how in the, uh, one of the recent movies that introduced Arceus, they actually called him Arceus? I found out that the reason they did this, of all the things, was because he was worried because Arse, as you may know, also is a slang term for ass. And he was worried that the British gr community would be offended by this. That is why they went with Arceus instead of Arceus. Laugh it up, because uh, I find it both amusing yet kind of sad. Now look, I get that you don't want to offend people, but let's be honest here. Pokemon is a show about adorable animals beating each other up, almost as if and their trainers might as well be Michael Vick's posse. And you're worried about offending people. Let that sink in for a moment. But that aside, the thing of it is, is that Tom Wayland essentially doesn't listen to fans, and he doesn't hesitate to lie to, in, to just so he can sign autographs for One Piece fans, who probably, like I said, would have, would have never let him anywhere near their One Piece merchandise if they knew what he was responsible for. Overall, I just think this guy is a jerk. And, uh, you might be saying, well, how bad is he? Let's put it this way. I know that some fans are not very big fans of Vic Mignogna, 
I myself am not one of them. I honestly like the guy, but I can understand why some people find him a little bit cocky or even a douchebag. But honestly, compared to him, Tom Wayland makes Vic look like a saint. Let that sink in. If you think, if you hate Vic Mignogna, then you should really hate Tom Wayland, because at least Vic is part of the good dubs. Anyway, that's my rant. I just want you all to know, be careful of Tom Wayland. He may not have done anything particularly bad as far as behavior at cons, but if you see him at a con, don't hesitate. Don't let him sign your One Piece material, and be sure to call him out on his bull.